It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1663, recorded Thursday, February 22nd, 2018. Undercooked app. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have our first week in a two week series all from Toy Fair. We love toys. It is also my last app enabled gadget. Will it be a dud or something we like? All next on The Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing growing LEDs. Get ready for The Gizwiz now. Now! now. And it is time for the Gizwiz, and here he is, our maitre d' of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing? Showing you to your table. Would you like the table with all the clocks on it? <laughs> or would you like the table with all the laptops? Oh, uh, um, laptops, uh, I'm good. I'm yeah. very good. And you? Doing great. Doing good. Um, I had a kind of a fun day today. Yes. Um, I have always been interested in Tesla cars. Um, and where oh, Tesla's yes, yes, going, yes. things like that. And recently, I'm not, I'm probably any big purchase. I'm I. It takes me a year or two to finally get to that point where I'm ready to make a big purchase. Okay. So Are I'm, you I've buying started, a Tesla? I've started the year or two process that it takes for me to decide if I want to buy a gadget. Um, and so I went on a Tesla test drive uh, earlier today. Oh my word. It was really, really fun. I got to test drive a, a Model S, uh, which is old news at this point. Who cares about the Model S? Because it's all about the Model 3. The Model 3 has just started kind of ramping up production to where uh, a few thousand are being made every week. Before it was like 24 were being made a week. Um, and so now it's like, a few thousand. Uh, Bloomberg did an article on how how quickly the factory is ramping up production and things like that. And it looks like it's it's going pretty fast. Um, and so after my test drive, the yes. only Model Three that is in yes. the Dallas area, I went to go see it and and compare the two. And I just had a really fun time uh, checking out both. Uh, if you're unaware, the Model Three is the more consumer uh, priced uh, Tesla, where uh, a, a normally a normally packaged out Tesla, uh, the Model S or the Model X could cost you in between eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. But one of the other, like the highest model, Model Three, would be in the sixty nine thousand dollar range or seventy thousand dollar range. And that's the highest model. They start at thirty five. Uh, oh, 000. okay. Thirty-five thousand. Then you, you add tires, and you <laughs> add a motor, and exactly. you add uh, windshield. Had, those cost a bit. Um, did you want any uh, instrumentation? Oh, at you wanted all? a steering wheel. Oh, oh yes, yes. Well, soon, not soon. You won't even need it. Just be a little joystick there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't wait until it's just a touch screen, and I just say, I want to go here. Take me yeah. there. Um, but I had a fantastic time uh, checking them out. And, and, and so, how long did you have the car for? I had the, I I was able to drive the car around for about twenty minutes. I would say. Oh, okay. It was okay. a long. They they said like leave an hour to like, for for the whole experience and um um and so yeah uh, they they we drove around. I used the autopilot, the enhanced autopilot, right. which is is uh it's not quite full self driving capability. It is more like an enhanced cruise control. Like it can't tell if there's a stop sign or any stop lights. Um, but it will bring the car to a full complete stop if the car in front of you is stopped. So you could run it in, say, traffic uh, and stop and go traffic, and it would it would right. work. It would keep lanes and stuff like that. Um, and uh, that was incredible, really, really cool. Um, and uh, I used the auto the self parking capability where right. uh, I was, it wasn't a, I didn't do a parallel park. I did a backup park into a parking space. So drove past an open parking space, um, said, uh, go ahead and self park. And on the screen, it could detect the parking space. Uh, wow. Backed up. It, ha it was a two point 
or three point turn. I don't know. I don't. I don't know where the points are determined. But uh, backed up, stopped, pulled forward, stopped, backed into the space the rest of the way, and it did all that on its own. Um, and then the the funniest and most surprising thing to me that I didn't even think I did. I have not even think, thought about this. Was we were done, and I was like, okay, how do I turn off the car? I was like, oh, you, oh, you don't. Yeah. You don't turn off the car. You just walk away from it. <laughs> oh, and then when it sees no one's around, it yeah, says, all right, it just, okay. It sets itself into standby mode. Exactly. I was like, there's no button oh, that, to like, or a flip so to switch, or switch to flip. It was just like, no, just walk away from the car and, uh, and <laughs> it'll put itself in standby mode wow. and stuff like that. So then, it, so then obviously it recognizes you when you approach the car then, Yeah, right? you have a key fob. Um, oh, yeah, for, the, okay. for it to recognize you. Oh, okay. Um, and also, like, to drive, it would sit in and put it into drive. You know, there's no, like, push to start a bu the oh. button to in start the engine or anything like that. You just got in the car, m put it into drive, and, and, and move. You know, there's no unlocking a brake. There, there's nothing like that. It automatically puts itself wow. in park and stuff like wow. that. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. Um, and then the big thing about the, the Model 3 is the interior. And basically, I was trying to decide, um, because the Model S is, is I'm going to, whatever car I buy, I'm going to buy used, because um, that's just right. kind of what I do. So buy a used Model S, buy a used Model 3 in a few years, um, what do I want to do? And uh, my fear was the Model S now kind of feels a little outdated, because uh, the inside is, you know, has two screens, it has a big console, but the Model 3 has like an entirely flat dash with just a single screen. It oh. looks a lot more modern. Um, and I think I came away with that feeling that the Model S feels a little bit outdated, especially the computer inside of the touch screen feels really old. Um, compared to the Model 3, which which yeah. seemed really, really nice. No, and something with that much technology, I, I certainly would go with the latest model you exactly. could have. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah, 100%. So anyway, that was uh, my little adventure today, and I just had a fantastic t time testing out the cars, and I think I came to my decision is uh, the Model 3. is is it depend, de Between the, the expensive, much more expensive Model S... Uh, buying a used model a few years old. You know, my budget's basically the same. Uh, so buying a used Model S or buying kind of an upgraded, newer uh, Model 3 that's, you know, used, used, quote, used, um, by someone being like, I want to resell it right now um, after they get it off their production line. So anyway, I, I found it really informative, really cool. And uh, absolutely, just it's absolutely exciting. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. now whenever you see anybody driving a, a three, if it's like an old lady, you just have to get her phone number mm -hmm. and follow her around and say, right. uh, you know, when when do you uh, get ready to sell this? <laughs> exactly. That's what I um, need. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. There's a very few Model Threes around. Um, I. It's funny because uh, there is a Tesla Club in Dallas and they had a party for the first Model 3 in North Texas and they like threw a party for it and I'll, everyone got to see it and so it's still like a unicorn basically it's, oh, that's it's very so funny. rare and especially in this area because they're uh, you know if you're near California um, you're getting them a little bit uh, a bit a little bit faster so yeah the VW buzz on before you buy interesting there's a VW Buzz. That sounds wow. weird. Um, anyway, I, that was uh, my little adventure uh, today. What's, uh, what's new with you? Yeah. Well, let's see. So uh, a lot of uh, visits from Spectrum with uh, my Wi-Fi and, and uh, weirdness there. Um, I don't know. The, the numbers I keep getting seem spectacular, but, but I don't know why they don't translate into spectacular on the show. But we're, yeah. <laughs> we're constantly working on it. Uh, and then Toy Fair. Toy Fair is is great fun. I went a, a few times, uh, one whole day for Dennis and I. Shoot videos for Gizwiz, and then I went back with a crew from uh, ABC News another day to uh, do a piece for World News Now. Um, so I will show you some of the new toys. Uh, many of them not coming till June or July, but the first one is. 
a fun toy for young kids, but I think uh, adults will like this too. So let's take a peek. Hey, Dick D. Martolo, Mads Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv, Toy Fair 2018, and flying, oh, frying donuts. I thought they were flying donuts. Actually, the, they both. are flying donuts, but the game is frying donuts. Uh, how do I play this? Just throw it in? Yeah, you take your donut, you toss it into the fryer, and you let them cook up a little bit. And then you want them to go ahead and detach the rod. Oh, okay. I'm going to do just one oh, for time One just here. one. So, <laughs> you did it. Oh, not even, not even in the, not even in the game. Okay, I'm getting it now. Oh, oh. that was technique oh, right no, there. No, uh, but Pure watch, technique. he cheats. And the object is. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. Look at that! Wow. He's cheating. He's cheating. <laughs> He's a professional donut fry, flying thing. Uh, so this is a fun game, but it's like really big for someone's living room, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. But Dick, we have a smaller one right over here. Oh my gosh, what an incredible thing to think about. They shrunk it. Oh, this makes yes. more sense. So Myra, uh, my, my, Malia. Malia, how does the game play? So this is new from Maya Toys. We're entering into the games aisle. So this is Maya Games coming out with Fry and Fly and Donuts. So the way you play is you turn on your fryer and you toss your donuts into the fryer and you watch as they as they twirl and swirl and they go onto the baker's rod. You got it. So the first person to get all of their donuts into the baker's box first, they win. Why is it that every time I put something in, oh, actually yours went out of the, oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. It's fun and it's frantic. <laughs> and when is this uh, coming out? Later this year. So we have, this one is coming out later this year. We're just doing this booth down here to garner some interest. And we have a lot more games coming out in 2019. So get excited. Okay. And the price of this when it comes out? $19.99. $19.99. Under $20. Ages four and up. Donuts included. But they're not ice. Trust me, I tried eating one. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Madness Rider, and the Gizwiz. One takes it here at gizwiz.tv, Toy Fair 2018. Bye. But, but what are the calories? Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what I need to know. Um, interesting. So yeah, very, yeah, very lightweight because they're like yeah. mesh, so, so they fly. <laughs> so very, not many calories at all. Is what you're not at all. Uh, that, not they at all. fit my diet. That sounds great. <laughs> Um, and so they said they were coming to the toy aisle. Is this a company that's not normally a toy you company? You know what? I, 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 I no, I, I had that idea too because uh, originally on their card it said the Maya Group. And then later on um, I found that a subdivision was Myra, uh, M A Y A, toys. So they are doing toys and uh, uh, they're going to, she said, they were looking forward to 2019. So my guess is this is one of their first forays into Toy Fair. Or it's possible I just uh, never noticed them before. Right. There was something like 2,000 toy companies there. So, right. wow. Uh, yeah, it, it's big. Like Orbeez I've heard of before. Uh, they've kind of done a lot of like yeah, yes, YouTuber uh, that's, yes. Orbeez uh, stuff. Also, and- a, lo- a, lot of thi- a lot of times you hear of a toy and you, know, and you just know the toy's name right. and don't realize it's made by uh, exactly. a, a bigger parent company. Right. Yeah, I mean, even, even big companies that I know of, Hasbro, like <laughs> I don't know if right off the top of my head – I could name a Hasbro toy. Like, <laughs> toy, no, absolutely. Uh, I don't know. I know they're a toy company, but I can't think of a toy. Um, a- cool. That looks really fun. Uh, I. It seems like there's almost like this niche for that physical style game. We've kind of seen it with the toilet trouble stuff. We've seen it with the pie face. We've seen, you know, there was even one where I think you threw, you know, balls at. Uh, at a bin that might fall on your head. I mean, there's all sorts of these really fun physical items that you use in order to uh, pull off, uh, you know, fun, pull off play. Yes, um, yes. So, yes, yeah. the winner, uh, one of the winners of Toy of the Year, um, and we couldn't get near it because it had won uh, Toy of the Year, but it's called Soggy Dog. Oh, I okay. saw that in uh, stores. Did you see Soggy 
Yes, exactly. Yes. So Soggy Dog was one of the big sellers of, yeah, maybe you can find a picture. So Soggy Dog is you answer questions and every time you answer them for some reason, if you get them wrong, you pump water and the water, it's like, it's like, it's like a big shaggy dog is under a shower. Right. And you fill the, the toy with water. And when you answer wrong, you pump. Uh, oh, great. You got a picture of it. You pump the water and the water gets showered down on the shaggy dog. And then when you uh, miss a turn or lose, you have to turn the faucet. And at some point, turning the faucet is going to make the dog start shaking. And he's if he's very wet, you will be the one closest and you will get soaked by soggy dog. Yeah. It's so. funny because uh, there was actually this as seen on TV product that uses basically a sponge that's made out of this silicone, um, like these silicone hair type things. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> so I feel like you could take soggy dog and oh, use, oh, them, that, use them on your dishes after you've played. Yeah, you know, exactly. A few when rounds. you're done playing, clean, yeah, yeah. clean up the party. The exactly. Party the loser who's already wet. You know, they have to go do the dishes with Soggy Dog. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I have seen that actually in stores. And I was like, well, this it, is in it, that vein of toys. That all these toys feel the and same. And it was. It was a big uh, seller. Big hit. Um, okay, so uh, going downstairs where you find the smaller companies, I found a company called Discover with Dr. Cool. Dr. So here's cool. uh, three of their gadgets. Hey, we're at Discover with Dr. Cool. Now, you're not Dr. Cool. No, I work with Dr. Cool. She works with Dr. Cool. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to uh, have some neat experiments here, and I'm going to give Denise the microphone for one second. Okay. Because she you probably have to turn the, uh, yeah, the volume up a little, look, Chad. Don't look. <laughs> because it's a secret. All right, she said that if I put this test tube in this liquid, I can make it disappear. Now hold it up, okay. Giz whiz, sanctimonious, something, something, something. Wow! Oh. It is gone. Amazing. It's gone. It is unbelievable. And they've been doing that here all morning and every time it disappears, there's no bottom. You have to pay them $50. So they can buy another <laughs> test tube. Those are, this is pretty neat, isn't it? Can you tell us the secret? No, it's secret. It's a secret. Oh, yeah. You learn that's about light refraction. Oh, that's a hint. Light refraction. Okay. So, so what what does that kit cost? This kit will retail for eleven ninety nine. Oh my gosh! And when's that coming out? It will be in store starting in July. In July, okay. Uh, and what do we have over here? So this is our hydrophobic. This is our waterproof wonders, and you get two experiments. One of which you can play with this sand that never gets wet. You can take a scoop. It comes with a scoop and a sculpting tool. You can dip this in water, and it stays dry. If you touching, drop it in, on, help. Oh, do one more. You want proof? Yes. Touch. Oh yeah. They dry. Oh, and there's none. Yeah, none on so, my finger. And you also, you have a sculpting tool, and you can push it around underwater, and you can sculpt it. And again, if you bring it up, it's dry, completely dry. I Magic. like that. Then this other experiment, you you can roll your finger around, or any object you want to try to waterproof. I'm using my finger. This is my wet finger, and this is my treated finger. It's completely dry. You want to prove it? Wow, can I do that? Yeah, okay, so with roll, it? Roll it, around. roll it around. Can I put it under my armpits? Get it covered. Okay, <laughs> into the water. Just any regular water will do. It, this is great. This is great. You know, do you have tubs of that, like, you could jump into before you go out in the rain? I think if you bought maybe several cases of this, you could just <laughs> jump in it. No okay, and, and those two uh, experiments are in this in one, one kit. kit. You get everything you need. You'll get each of the um, each of the tubs of the ingredients, a spoon, a sculpting tool, and two little cups. Uh, is that also a July release? Also July, also eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. This is really great stuff. I love it. We are uh, well known for our science kits. Discover with Dr. Cool. You're watching the Gizwe Show with Dr. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest writer. This is great fun. Toy Fair 2018.
How did you get that doctorate? You know what? What was that doctorate in? Uh, it's a doctorate in stupidity. Oh, good. Okay, great. A advanced stupidity. Adva advanced, yes. <laughs> advanced stupidity. You broke new ground in that area. <laughs> I, I did. And, uh, oh. That's how you yeah. got your doctorate. <laughs> very cool. Um, yeah, yeah, and I, I think they're very nice reasonable kids. for uh, yeah. uh, 12 bucks. Totally. Absolutely. That seems like a fun, uh, you know, fun little afternoon project is, oh my God, geodes. I love. Oh yeah, geodes they, they, they have kid. tons and tons of stuff. Uh, those two kits are not on the website yet, but there's yeah. plenty of uh, other stuff there. Yeah, totally. A oh, play sand that kinetic sand is what I assume this is. Um, really cool stuff. Okay, discover with Doctor Cool. Um, fun little games we kind of did some crystal stuff in the in the past on Gizmo. yes we did you had you had a, a star a wars crystal crystal set that right and went it, everywhere it was ever i was just gonna, I was gonna say it was the worst um i don't think i did it correctly and it just started making crystals everywhere except for the crystal container and, and, yes exactly it was like the vase was empty yes and but there's there crystals, crystals everywhere else yes on was, shelves and up the walls Right. Um, so yeah, really cool. Discover with Dr. Cool. It's a fun cool. thing. A fun uh, thing. And it looks and like it's discoverwithdrcool.com. Kind of a long uh, yeah, it is. thing, but yes, it's, it, it, it works. It works. It works, and it's Dr. Dr. Uh, uh, cool. Um, and then we always usually end the show with them, but uh, we're going to end just uh, today's videos with a stop by Folk Monis Puppets. Well, here we go. I love folk manas. Toy Fair 2018, Toy Fair, any year we always stop by folk manas puppets because every year they have the cutest, most adorable little puppets that you can hardly believe. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> I'm Perry the Possum, <laughs> the old possum. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi. Are you wait? Are you cute? Oh yeah, I'm super cute. I'm a, I'm really. I've got lots of fur, and I have a tail that grabs onto you like it just doesn't let go, and you can't let me go because I'm so <laughs> lovable. <laughs> uh, okay, you're the opossum. Yeah, but what was your name? Oh, my name is Perry the Possum, but it's really O Possum, but the O is silent. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, and that's brand new for 2018. Yeah, brand new. I also can live in your garage, in your attic, eat your trash, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> Thanks. And, what, and, and do you know what you sell for? Oh, that's a, that's a question uh, <laughs> for a tag that I can't read. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Uh, Very nice. You have a friend over here. Oh. Meow. My name is Silver. I am a beautiful purring cat. It looks... Oh my gosh! The purring is built Those into the cat. I love TV interviews. They're my very favorite. Ooh. Wow. I'm brand new for 2018 too. I love going home. You'll never have to clean my litter box. Promise. <laughs> if there's anything in the litter box, it's probably just foam stuffing. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I'm very tidy, kitten. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Two great new puppets from Folk Monus. One of them I'm not so sure about. What? Dicky Bartolo. Oh, it's not me. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Dicky Bartolo, Man's Madness Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Folk Monus Puppets Toy Fair. Bye bye. 2018. <laughs> bye. It looks like Jack Jack. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> my kitten, Jack Jack. That's uh -oh. crazy that they have a built in purring. Yes, sure. yeah, they're very, they're very clever. Oh yeah, uh, over there, and and the stuff to me is very reasonable, and I think kids, you know, puppets are fun because you can. There are no no rules, right? You can be, do whatever you want, and they can do. Now there, the I only saw the, oh the kitten. You know what? The kitten went up uh, in the past day or so. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. There, there's <laughs> they're a, on the sticker or on the main thing, but. Uh, I actually don't see the cat in the. Uh, oh wait! View oh, that's here. so funny. It's right, the, he's the icon for the newest. Oh, he's the icon. So he's <laughs> not newest. listed. He's not, not yet. listed yet. Oh, he's at newest puppets. Okay. Right. Um, and then uh, just the opossum oh, is there. 
Opossum. <laughs> oh, that is funny. It is opossum, but the it is silent. opossum, right? And that that w- w- weird tail that you wrap around. I guess it has a wire in it because it can hang from whatever you want. Um, uh, I love it. It says creepy yet cute. <laughs> creepy yet cu- cute. Yes. Cute. I feel like uh, whoever was puppeteering um, that really achieved that character really well. Creepy. But cute at the same time. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly. Uh, yeah, the, the people that, that they have at the show are also, they, they break me up, you know. Oh, yeah. It's very <laughs> you funny. Know, I, I can live in your garage. I can eat your garbage. <laughs> or I, can do, I can do all that neat stuff. It's a very. It's amazing. Um, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. And, love and they have guys. everything Fing, finger puppets and stage puppets and uh, no electronics, no batteries needed. Just Just imagination. Just imagination. Yeah, exactly. Amazing. Okay, Folk Monis, we love them, and we love them. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on my preachy talk about how amazing puppets are because I've done it on the show I think three times now. But I (laughs) I love I love puppets. Puppets. Puppets are great. Cool. Um, All right, so that means we're down to the final for February. The final Chad. No, you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Preppy Corner. Oh, my gosh. What are you, rolling an old possum? Oh, my. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, my gosh. This is the biggest crap we've ever shown off on the show. Um, It's actually, it's actually empty, but... um. So this month, this is actually the last of our uh, app-enabled gadgets. Um, And so this week, I went a little bit larger than normal. normal, Wow. And uh, I got a slow cooker. Slow cooker. Oh, I don't think we have time for that. (laughs) You're right. Uh, so we're th- this is going to be a new extended Gizwiz. It's only going to be about <laughs> six to ten hours long. No, uh, er- obviously earlier I recorded a video. Uh, so uh, take it away, me, about uh, six hours ago, I'd say. Hey, Dickie D. So we're here with the Black & Decker Slow Cooker. Uh, this is an app-enabled slow cooker, of course, uh, from the month. Um, and it uses Wi-Fi to connect with its app. Already inside, we have some pot roast uh, added so that we can actually test to see if it stays on and the connection stays good and whatnot. Uh, The setup process was, uh, we did have some issues. We had some issues registering. Um, It wouldn't uh, allow us to register at all. Um, But once we've registered, we can access the slow cooker. So if I wanted to just set this for uh, a certain amount of time, so we can change the amount of hours for this specific recipe, six hours on high, uh, will work just fine. But before we hit start, I just want to show you that there are some advanced cooking options that you can use. So you could set it to be low for a certain amount of time, high for a certain amount of time, um, and warm for a certain amount of time. And you can change these around. So if you wanted to start on high or warm, um, and then and then move from you know one thing to another, uh, you can. Uh, three steps is basically all you get. Um, and it also nicely tell you at what point this will be ready. So as of recording, if we did this long schedule, it would be ready uh, just after midnight. So let's switch back over to standard. Uh, this is what we want, high cooking for six hours. It'll be ready uh, just before the gizwiz actually. So let's go ahead and click start and immediately Uh, This set itself to high and for six hours. Um, Now, theoretically, while I'm out and about uh, throughout the house, throughout the day, um, I could come back here and click stop and it would turn this off uh, even if I'm not at the house. Okay, so it's been six hours and the slow cooker worked just fine. Uh, I did hear the alarm go off that uh, it was done cooking. Um, but there was, I didn't get a phone notification or anything like that. So if we look in here, we can see that it has now switched to warming mode automatically. And the time was set for four hours of warming. So, uh, it went ahead and just switched. I didn't say any settings uh, for that to happen and kind of take a look at, uh, what it looks like. That's kind of the roast. I did, I did stir it uh, a little bit earlier. Um, but so far so good. Um, 
Just from using the app though, I will say that I, it doesn't give me much confidence. This app does not seem very well uh, put together. Like we're getting some weird kind of like transition things right there. What's happening is it's showing that I had it and then it went to warming mode. But uh, earlier it stopped responding, I had to force quit it. So uh, there's a few bugginess things uh, with the app uh, that I'm, I'm not a big, big fan of. But uh, it did work. I was able to monitor this while I was away from the house because this is over Wi-Fi, not just Bluetooth. And of course, it worked as a slow cooker. So uh, all in all, uh, we're here, now it's time uh, for me to dig in. <clears throat> uh, Chad, what, yeah. what all did you put in there? So that is just uh, uh, meat roast, um, potatoes, carrots, a uh, big onion, a pack of seasoning that was actually like a slow, uh, slow cooker uh, seasoning, um, and then uh, water, like a cup of water, uh, and that made oh, okay. and that made my <laughs> that's my recipe for uh, for slow cooking, um, and it worked great as a, so um, the timeline is actually I got it on Monday. And I opened it up and couldn't register through the app at all. And so I just used it. You can use it just as a slow cooker. My biggest issue with just using it as a slow cooker is the time setting. You can only go in increments of 30 minutes. Um, so if you just wanted to like do something for 15 more minutes, you know, you're stuck to 30 minute jumps. Um, and also there's, you just click it unt until it goes up to 10 hours and then it starts back at 30 minutes. And so if you accidentally, if you wanted to set it for three hours and you accidentally set it for 3.30, well you have a whole bunch of clicks. You have 20 clicks to get back to, uh, oh to three hours. Um, to do it. But you can also, that's really, uh, that'll help turn off the, the setting so if you were really needing it to turn off the setting, um, you could have it do that, or you could just set your own timer, you know, that sort of thing. Um, finally, today was actually the, the only day that I was able to finally get past the registration and actually register to I use think. the app. Um, and, uh, and I've actually used it, this is the third time I used it. I made macaroni and cheese, I made pizza, and I made that, uh, that roast. Um, and so finally I was able to actually use the Wi-Fi um, functionality. And then just now I opened up the app and uh, it had signed me out. And that was literally only from 30 minutes, you know, or an hour or so um, from recording that video to now, the app signed me out. I had to sign back in. The app is really, really, really crummy. Um, other than that, it works. It works. So, I mean, I, I don't really have much other um, uh, usage of a slow cooker. So, you know, I really only know my family. How do you, ma how do you make pizza in a slow cooker? Oh yeah. You can, um, the, I, that was a recipe I wanted to uh, test out. You, um, uh, buy pizza dough and you make a deep dish. It's a deep dish pizza. Oh, okay. Um, and so you buy pizza dough, you kind of put it on the edges and then fill the center with, you know, with your sauce and your cheeses and your meats and stuff like that. Um, and I've already forgotten the, the settings, but I think it was, um, I think it was actually low for about 90 minutes. But it, it's not crispy. The no, it was crispy. Be. Oh, yeah, it was totally crispy. Oh, the, oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, it yeah, almost yeah. like baked, it like baked yeah. the crust? Totally, yeah. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Um, it wasn't, I didn't use the entire, <laughs> Turnal Ozzy is going very deep dish. No, it was like <laughs> maybe an inch. My new 10-inch deep. deep pizza. <laughs> exactly, my six-quart deep dish pizza. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, that worked, it, that worked, uh, really well. A macaroni and cheese also was fantastic. That worked out, uh, really good. Um, and then of course the pot roast, which I literally just ate 40 minutes ago, um, wow. was also, uh, really fantastic. So, um, it's, it's worked pretty good. You know, it's, it's a step above just the low, medium, high setting that most, you know, are, are medium and high and off or warm, medium and high. Um, because you can set the timer, stuff like that. The, the interface just on the front of it isn't fantastic. Uh, and I've, I saw in the store better interfaces where you could kind of do what you're doing with the app, with the interface, but that doesn't, that relies wholly, solely on the app and the app just is not that good. Um, but yeah, well, what I would, did that, what did that, what did it cost? Oh yes. That's a big, big thing is yeah. it was $50. So 50 oh, bucks that's not bad. for a slow cooker. Slow cookers actually are a lot less expensive. Um, 
I had like had it in my head that like a slow cooker would cost like a hundred bucks. Um, but no, uh, this was, and it's available at Walmart. Um, so you could go pick one up right now uh, at Walmart. That was the best price that I found for it. Um, and it's made by Black & Decker. I, I, don't, I think I failed to mention that too. It's a Black & Decker Wi-Fi enabled uh, six quart um, slow cooker. It also has uh, a lid that will clamp on. I failed to mention that as well. Uh, so that lid uh, hit, clicks onto these little posts on the side. There's a good view of that right there. If I could select it. Uh, um, and, and so the whole cooking thing comes out of the pot, right? Right. So you have, you have yeah, these, these different things. You have the, the actual pot, which is, has the heating element inside of it. Then you have a ceramic tub, basically, and that's where all the food goes. You can take that out uh, and wash it. You know, I don't... I didn't see if that was machine washable. Um, it's so big that I just decided to hand wash it every single time. Um, I'm looking on the box now. It doesn't seem like it's saying anything. Uh, dishwasher safe temperature glass lid. That is dishwasher safe. Um, and I don't see if the uh, ceramic is dishwasher safe uh, quite yet. Um, but yeah, and I could also see, That's you know, nice. if, yeah. if you... Um, had a, you know, a lot of these slow cooking recipes, they're like variable by like two hours, you know? So I could totally see that if you were planning, you know, or some say you could do it on low for 10 hours or on high for six hours. And so I could absolutely see if you're, if you're a mom, a dad, um, or even a normal person and your plans change throughout the day, you could switch oh, it from you, yeah, high yeah. to low and then add more time, you know, while you're not at home anymore. Um, right. And and so uh, I could really see that that could be a big help. I never ended up needing that uh, when I was using it because, uh, you know, I was kind of around. <laughs> I didn't have to leave yeah, the house okay. for anything. But I you could know, you, absolutely you, you, see that. Yeah. You get a stop for speeding on your way home. And the cop said, you're going to spend a night in jail. And you go, hang on a second. My slow uh, cooker. Is it going to be exactly 24 hours? Because I have to set my slow cooker. <laughs> exactly. Can I have one free phone call that I actually don't use as a phone call? I yeah. just use to call my slow cooker and, I have uh, <laughs> and, and set it for a different time? Um, absolutely. So, so that, that sort of thing. Or right now, um, what's kind of cool is, is I re-signed into the app. And uh, it's, it's warming right now, and it's still warming for two hours. And let's say a friend said, hey, I'm coming over in, uh, in three hours. Well, I could say, okay, we'll keep warming for another three hours um, or something like that. So uh, I, I think all of that works pr pretty good. The app is so, it's so kludgy. It's so, you know, put together so horribly. Um, it's really upsetting <laughs> because... If it was a slick app, this would be a hundred percent. Of course, they connect us. You know, if it connected and stayed, you know, great, um, it would be an absolute recommendation. But uh, because the app is so crummy, um, and the reviews kind of uh, m mimic what I'm saying, is there as a slow cooker, it kind of works pretty okay. Um, but there's also you know a whole bunch of one star reviews. Um, Ga apparently this fellow had their gasket come out of their lid and things <laughs> like that. So is your guess that you must use their app? Yeah. Yeah. There's no okay. other apps. Okay. There's no like cooking yeah. app that would just, that would be really cool. Um, but no, it, it would be, a, yeah, it would be. Yeah. No, I guess the thing is that black and Decker is famous for appliances. And then they figured we, we have to get something Wi-Fi, and they go, Murray, doesn't your kids, Tell your kid to come up with an app. Yeah. Uh, no, you cannot change the settings of the font size inside the app, says Captain J. Um, I, have, I have settings for push notifications and log out. Those are the two settings um, oh that I have. Uh, it does have recipes inside the app, um, but I would say that you probably would want to just use the internet uh, for that instead of... <laughs> Instead of that, um, you do have also FAQ on the app, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, uh, it's kind of a crummy app, but uh, an okay slow cooker is 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 my review. So that's, it's like it's not it's kind of crappy, kind of <laughs> crappy, 
but it also kind of works. So I don't know where it falls on the crappy. Well, the, well, the, so the cook, the cook is better than the. Yeah, app, right? exactly. The cooker works yeah. fine. The app leaves something to be desired for sure. And it, the app is maybe. undercooked. Undercooked app. That's exactly how to describe yeah. it. That's perfect. Right. Uh, with that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Oh, 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 oh. And our gadget warehouse is not about an old gadget, but a new gadget that Mo Tories found. Mo is a big fan of the show, a big gadget uh, person buying gadgets all the time. And he found an under $20 gadget that at first I thought, I don't know. And then when I thought about it, I thought, you know what? I think I could use one of these. See if you might agree. Okay. Uh, here's Mo's video. Hey, Dick and Jack. I just got this gadget and I love it. It costs $20 on Amazon. <laughs> and it's the right there. Shut the bleep up. And it's a mute button. A big mute button. So this is great, you know, when you're looking for the mute button on a remote, like this one, <laughs> it's impossible to find. I couldn't even see it. It's right here to program it. So that's the mute button on my remote control. This is the ultimate mute button. <laughs> so, you know, you get those moments where you just have to mute the TV right away, whether it be a phone call or whatever. And just having this thrown on the... Uh, so far, uh, uh, next to a table that you sit next to while watching TV, and you just press it to mute. Same it's satisfying. all done. Really easy to program. All you have to do is turn it around. It takes two AA batteries. Bought it on Amazon, like I said. It costs um, $20. So you put it on Learn, right? The light flashes. You find, if you can find the... The mute button, look how tiny that is. And you press it. And you keep it pressed. Uh -huh. that hole, that's it, you do it. You put it back to use. That's the portal you pointed to. So you point it to this little hole right here. And now, if we look at the TV, I don't have anything going on right now, but if you press. So now you take the remote it was programmed, it took two seconds. You press there it. There you mute. go. Unmute. Mute. Unmute. Mute. Unmute. <laughs> I mean, this is great. It's <laughs> awesome. I'm going to use it like crazy. It's an awesome gadget. I thought both of you would actually, uh, and the viewers would actually like this button. 20 bucks on Amazon. Big giant mute button that you'll never lose. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like Bye. it's just begging for someone's grandparents. I mean, that is the perfect grandparent gift. Is yes, here's yes. a gigantic it, it, mute button. Just put yes. it next to your recliner. Put it on the coffee table. Smash it whenever you don't want. The TV yes, to make a sound. when you don't want to hear the commercial, or as as Mo said, when the phone rings. I love uh, that. But because usually on the remote, it's sort of like they figure. You know, they have the big up and down buttons for volume. And then somewhere they hide the mute button. And so this is a fun way to do it. Uh, it it's 1950 on and $19.50 on Amazon. Um, and at first, I th when I first saw it, I thought, what is this, a button that swears at you? That's or? what I thought, too. I thought it was yes. one of those, those, hey, you be quiet. I'm trying yes, to listen yes, exactly. to some yeah, music exactly, here. Exactly. Uh, that's exactly what I thought it was. Uh, this is so much more useful and great. And, uh, and I like, the, uh, you know, it makes that humor you know, on the button uh, so much more endearing. Because it was, yes, exactly. <laughs> it was and, that and, normal it's you saying, hey, shut up, yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of exactly. it yelling it at you. Um, exactly. So uh, exactly. absolutely love that. Um, <laughs> and, and I can just imagine just all the people that you know that 
need this. You know, there's, there's someone in your office that needs this. There's someone in your family that needs this. Uh, really good. Uh, that that yes. should come back almost uh, at Christmas time. <laughs> to, no, you uh, know, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Because, you know, like my my mother and father will say, oh, I can't stand that commercial. He, and they hand you the remote. Here, find the mute button. And so you have to listen to at least 30 seconds of the screaming commercial to find the uh, mute button, especially exactly. if it's an, a remote that you're not familiar with. So a clever idea. Mo uh, is going to get a Mad Magazine. Uh, and an Alfred picture. I think he must have about a hundred of them by now. Uh, so if you live in the U S uh, you can get a mad magazine, the newest issue of mad and an Alfred picture. If you live anywhere in the world, I will autograph a photo to you and scan it and send you a high res image, print it out, frame it. I've gotten several emails now saying, Dick, this works great in a frame. No one will ever guess that it's not the original. And the fact that you signed it to my name makes it really uh, personal. Uh, so come up with a video, two to three minutes, and uh, put it on YouTube. You can click unlisted if you just want uh, people you send the uh, URL to to see it. And email it to us, just the, just the URL, uh, to mail at gizwiz.tv. And again, anything that involves a gadget. And so we ask that it be in landscape mode and that we can hear you. That's about the only two requirements that we uh, have. Perfect. Uh -huh. Send them in. Yep. <clears throat> With that, let's move on to the letter. Now. Our letter is from Steve C., who says, I hate ordering anything from Amazon. Uh-oh. It takes a week to think about getting ready to ship something and nearly another week for it to finally get here, what? which is really annoying since the warehouse is just across town. I could drive over and get it sooner if they had local pickup. I've complained several times about their slow shipping, and they said if I want it faster, I have to pay more. It's hard to believe you guys really get something delivered the next day. <laughs> yeah, you, all the time. You, you must pay a lot for faster shipping, but I can't afford that, uh, Steve C. So, yes, I got two things today that I ordered uh, last <clears throat> night. Uh, and, yes, you normally... You know, compared to FedEx or something, it's usually nominal, like four, five, or six dollars. I think, however, the, the main point is we both have Amazon Prime. Yes. Right? Like, yes, we would. Yes. Yeah. You know, I don't even know. Have you ever bought anything? You know, I didn't. It's funny. If you're not Amazon Prime, do they add like seven or eight dollars, or is it still free? I think. It costs more. It's so first more. off, you don't get the the. Fr the so as an Amazon Prime member, you get uh, free two day shipping. So almost yes. anything I buy off of Amazon, well, free as in, I think Amazon Prime now costs a hundred dollars a year. Yes, um, so you, it was ninety nine, then it went to one twenty nine. Right. Now I think it went. For, but you know what? Just before the show for laughs, I bought up uh, twenty seventeen. I bought two hundred and thirty nine. I had two hundred and thirty nine deliveries. Oh, wow. From Amazon. I mean, I buy a lot. I buy a lot of stuff for the show that when I get it, I, I think, you know, this isn't even <laughs> interesting enough to bother making a video about. Um, but what I do do to save money is on Amazon, you can have uh, a wish list. So if I'm buying anything I don't need, like within two days, I put it on my wish list, like uh, spare bones for Charlie um, an extra set of lines for the boat. I put them on the wish list. Then when I get an item, I really want the next day. And it says free shipping, $35 and up the items, $15. I go into my wish list and I add $20 worth of stuff that I really need. Yeah. But now that they're going to, now that it's on the thing, I get it the next day and it's free. Uh, so that's a way to save some money. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of do the same thing, but just with the cart. 
is all the time I will see something, I'll think, oh, I want this, but I don't want to go either it's not enough for the free shipping or it's also like sometimes it, it qualifies, but I'm like, I don't want them to ship me like a single like this one thing, you know, like a one yeah. bag of cat food, like that seems <laughs> yeah. silly, you know, or yeah, right. or whatever. Um, and so I'll just put it in my cart and then I'll- Aren't like, you afraid you're gonna hit buy and, and because you can buy sometimes. everything so, so easily. Sometimes, yeah. Cause, yeah. Well, I turn off one click. I don't, I don't oh, do okay. one click okay. uh, at all. Um, okay. But uh, but yeah, so I'll I'll gather a few things in my cart. Sometimes I'll check out and be like, whoa, that was way more expensive than I was thinking. And I was like, oh yeah, because I've bought two weeks worth of stuff um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that I've been I've been uh, saving up. Um, the other thing about Prime that I think is different between Prime members and non-Prime members is some products you'll be able to get free next day delivery, and uh, other products you can get free next or you can get next day delivery for like five dollars or two dollars um and the price kind of fluctuates and i think that we as prime members get much better shipping prices than non-prime members um so i think that's and, and also i have a warehouse right across the river right yeah uh, and in dallas uh, yeah now, although he said he said he has a warehouse one, yeah yeah, that is very strange. I, I really, I've had Prime for so long, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I don't know what the Amazon experience is like without having Amazon Prime. They should really sell ads on this show. We sell Amazon so much, you would think that <laughs> yes, we are just right. shills for Amazon. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't, you know, I've kind of forgotten what the... Um, uh, what the experience is like, and if you don't have Prime, it could be that shipping's expensive. Shipping well, chat is slow. Room, yes, it could be. But <laughs> the, the, the strange thing is, is that he he could drive yeah. to the warehouse. I, I don't I don't know. Yeah. Uh, now Steve, I, Steve? I do know uh, they also sometimes Amazon has lockers, so you can ship to an Amazon locker. No idea if that would be faster or not, but it is kind of in network. You would kind of think that maybe. Yeah, I went to the locker once to return something. Yeah. And actually, I gave it to Dennis because uh, the nearest lock is 15 blocks away. And it turned out Dennis was visiting someone uh, one block away. And he, he said, it's a lot of fun. You go in with the item you're returning. You uh, pass the barcode over the scanner. A, a door clicks open. Right. A, a, and he said, oh, my gosh. He said that a little door opened and he didn't know what to do. And then he looked down. And the screen says, is this door too small? <laughs> and you you click yes, and that door closes, and a bigger door opens. And then you just put the item in there. And a, a and little elf comes out with cookies. And yes, it's while adorable. you're waiting. It's amazing. That's right. Yeah. It's, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Um, totally. Um, yeah, those Amazon lockers are, are, are pretty cool. Um it then stinks that, you know, because we sit here and, and sing Amazon's praises all the time, um, that there is, uh, you know, I could, I, you know, there's like this whole side of Amazon that mm, I guess I, I don't experience. Cause oh, I yeah, like Dale, Dale said, he doesn't, he doesn't do Prime because he only buys things a couple times a year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, all totally. right. Well, well, there's a wide variety of stuff for uh, us yeah. to buy. Yeah, uh, at Amazon. Uh, with that, we're coming up to the end of our show. But before you go anywhere, make sure you play What the Heck Is It over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, this is your last moment before the new What the Heck Is It uh, comes out. So if you're listening to this podcast uh, and of the week of its publication, you have to head on over to gizwiz.biz to play What the Heck Is It. Here it is. Here's the gadget. Uh, and it's, it, you have to guess, you know, uh, exactly what it is. And it is obvious to me that this is a device for scooping out avocado. Uh, it's an avocado scoop and it, you know, oh. that little, oh little yeah, thing could, in the middle yeah. there, you know, it, it the, gets the pit right out of there all in just one, one big scoop with a nice handle to, uh, to keep it, you know, from in your hand. <laughs> Obviously, here is yeah. the Mad Magazine you're playing for. Um, mine was actually just recently uh, delivered to my house, and uh, you'll get one signed by Dickie D himself. 
So please get on over to gizwiz.biz and get a guessin'. There are uh, six Mad Magazines for correct answers, if you actually know what this is, but 12 grand prize winners will get uh, signed copies for funny, hilarious, clever, interesting, and thoughtful answers. There's, o there's only so many synonyms for, uh, for <laughs> you know, creative answers. And, and you have to live in the U.S. because Dickie right. D is personally paying Two seventy nine per issue to mail them out. So U.S. only. It's about 13, 12 or 13 bucks to Canada. And you have to fill out a customs form. <laughs> and you cannot hand it to a post, postal person. But it must be delivered in person to the post office. Um, so if, if you play the game and you win, you can get an autographed Alfred E. Newman picture. Or in that issue... Uh, I wrote the uh, choking poster uh, for the high tech age, you know, things like um, ask the person if they're choking, if they can't speak, tell them to text you yes or no. So if you I'll just sh hold it up here. Uh, so if you win the digital age poster um, and you live outside of the U.S., I will make a copy of the poster and autograph that and uh, email that to you. Awesome. So you, you'll still win something. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Get to playing right now. Also, we want to give a big thank you to our patrons. Uh, if you don't support the show, please consider supporting the show. But we have to say thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting the show for so long. Um, you guys are so generous, uh, so, so thoughtful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we really could not do this show without you, you guys. You know what? I forgot to say this at the top of the show. Uh, it's our 12, it's the Gizwiz 12th anniversary. The Giz, the first Gizwiz show was February 20th, 26. Oh my gosh. So two days ago and 12 years ago <laughs> was the first Gizwiz show. And next month, it's either next month or April. Wow. We will start year four of, of independence. Of independence. Holy cow! Holy I know. Cow. Okay, we will be so entering. Two thousand six our fourth year. was the first year of the Gizwiz, February. Yep. Um, and it's it's it hasn't gone that far downhill. And how many podcasts can say not that? That far? No, nah. It's it's only gone slightly downhill. Just slightly downhill. Wow. That is incredible. Um, there's not a lot of podcasts that have been around for 12 years. Let me tell you that. Yeah. Um, incredible. And so for the past four. Patrons, it's all been you guys. It's all been yep. your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to everybody who supports the Gives Wiz. Um, and also, this is our plea for more to support. Head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz uh, to show your support. You can also, uh, Patreon, Patreon is more of a reoccurring thing every episode. Um, so you're pledging per episode to support. If that's not your style, no big deal. Head on over to gizwiz.tv. You can click on the pa Patreon tab, and right underneath the Patreon banner, there's a PayPal link. We should probably make a PayPal banner, because right now it seems like it's relegated... You have like three Patreon steps to get through to get to the PayPal link. One day, maybe. Uh, and so big thanks to everybody who supports in whatever way you do, PayPal, Patreon, uh, or just really even just showing up and being part of the chat room. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Um, that about wraps our, up. Our, our fans are amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. Nick with a C says, when you start at the bottom of the hill, there's not too far to go down. That's the kind of encouragement. Exactly. Yeah. That our fans. So give right us. now we're really just in the ditch. That's it. You know, that's <laughs> just how far down we've that's gone. Right. That's, that's um, right. Yeah, not much further lower than this. That's the good news. Um, thank you guys so much, and uh, I guess we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>